but I believe that there are, uh, uh, going back to the sense of entitlement right. related to that, the government doesn't owe anybody a job. In fact, really, nobody owes anybody a really? job. Really? Oh, no, I don't think so. I but don't but owe, they promise the jobs. I don't owe any, that's a political <laughs> yeah, thing. Right. Yeah, I don't owe anybody mm. a job. The government doesn't owe anybody a job. It is up to us as individuals looking for jobs to find them or create them. Right. And again, we can look at economic history around the world. Prof, the statement you're making, uh, quite yes. a lot of people out there may not, I, may not I, really I, get and the I message. And I stand by that. it. Uh, because you take a look at the I mean, manifesto of the, of, of the, uh, of the political uh, parties. It, it, that, that's the biggest selling factor for them. Well, they again, go all out and say, we'll give you the jobs when we come into power. I agree, but uh, that's and what and I'm saying. And this is not that's just unique to one political party. All of them do this. Yeah. But that's, a po that's what I'm saying. That's yeah. a political decision. I'm not so a would you ask I'm the political politician to, to tone down on how they, they raise the hopes of the oh, youth? That, that's politics. Right. Yeah. So they can decide uh, how they want to do that. Yeah. But I am not a politician. I'm speaking from a very pragmatic mm. perspective. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I'm not going to promise anybody a job. Right. Because I don't think it is anybody's role to promise anybody a job. Mm. Uh, it is not my role, it is not the government's role to, to uh, create these jobs, it is the individual. Th there is a certain kind of um, uh, individual zeal, individual, I it's innate, the, I think it's innate. Right. Yeah, but we have not allowed that to manifest mm. itself in our environment. I, we sent, uh, this was in 2014, 2015, we sent some students to France on an exchange program. Right. They came back and we were having a conversation and one of them told me that uh, if he learned nothing, there was the fact that nobody owed him a job. In his first class, he is telling me this. Frank, if you are out there, you know, he is <laughs> hello, telling hello, me this. <laughs> yeah. And he says that they, at the first day of class, mm. they, were being, they were introducing themselves and the lecturer was asking what they intended to do when they graduated. Yeah. And over 90% of the people in the class were thinking about jobs they were going to start when they left school. He was shocked coming from Ghana and hearing that nobody there was depending on the government for a job. H how did that happen? I mean, we talk of the government in Scandinavia in particular taking care of their citizens. But the, how many jobs do the government have? Or how many businesses do these governments run? How many of them have said we are creating jobs so you come directly to us for the job that we are creating for you? Right? We have to make the effort. All these entrepreneurs around the world, how did they come to be? If they depended on the government, would they be there? No. Mm. You know, so we need to take action. We as individuals have to take the necessary action. The government supports whichever government it is, supports that process. But I don't think it is the government's role to say here is a job, come take it.